What's up guys, it's Sabin here and today I'm making a new tutorial about the retouching the doing the skin retouching and this is a usual technique used by beauty photographers all around and the previous one I did was um, it was not having a voiceover like me explaining the process of what I'm going through and why I'm doing so So I'm going to open an image and here I don't need to resize this code to resize it because I need to deal with it while it's having the full resolution like it's maximum quality being held. So let me open it. Right, we have it. Um, the first step I'm going to move on creating a new layer because I'm going to remove some blemishes on the skin I'll be using the clone clone stamp tool sorry Touch Academy and here and just explaining for some people who are new to this uh, the panels are not the sweeter boat like the exact mode to retouching because the panels are just only having actions and it in that means that anything that I'm having through the panels I can even do it manually it's just I have to first in my my process by clicking on the actions from this panel. So by pressing the magic eyes, I come here on this mouse. And then we just put the opacity of the blush to like excel at 40. And yeah, white color white. And then start drawing it along. So here I think I need, I won't need to go. Um, the next thing for me to do is just resizing, like cropping the image to the. Maybe I can even do that later, <coughs> but now I need. Sorry. I'm going to using that like, to crop it on the aspect ratio or maybe the crop which is suitable for the Instagram portrait photos and I will be using like 4x5 crop 
it's already here. Wait, wait. So I need to go to use and the next thing is <coughs> I'm going to run to the frequency separation part and the frequency separation is just fixing the colors it's just mixing the colors why the color layer is just separated from the texture of the skin and by frequent separation you just find that you have to blend some few shadows which are just located into the highlights and maybe some other highlights which are into the shadows yeah so to, to solve that you have to go through frequent separation process so here we go 8 bits yeah this is an 8 bit image that I'm dealing with so in the radius I'm going to put it on 3.7 this normally what I'm going to do because it's a normal image I need to work like maybe I need to check on the details because uh, the more you go down <coughs> the more you lose the details and the more you go up the more you maintain them so let me see like 4.2 Then there we go. And then we'll be using the mixer brush. So let's say like on the wet 30, Sarah. It's all good. On load 30, mix 30 and the flow 20. Here I think I'm good to go. I have to check this box if it's checked. And yeah, it's done. Let's go. I'm going to be just blending some highlights that look at into the shadows parts on, on the skin. Let's do it. work on this I, I need to to disable the frequency separation layer so that see how the image is looking with these shadows and highlights to know which one to bring forward put the opacity on five percent 
start by dodging the highlights. This is before the dungeon bar, this is after. And I need to just put on frequent separation a little bit so that to maintain a natural look into the photo. Yeah, here I think we need to go and my next step is uh, I'm going to work on the color tones of the skin and uh, yeah this is one of my favorite parts during the retouching and what I'll be starting for is having the gradient um, around the image so I come here in the settings make sure that I'm into the photograph photographic tone toning sorry and I just I think I'll go with this one because I like the golden colors on the skin and um, here, I've already put down the opacity a bit down. Yeah. And the next thing I'm gonna play with is the selective colors. And then we need to, primarily I need to, initially I need to put down the blacks. Yeah, I need the blacks to be real black. Yeah, yeah, yes. And next, red. I'll just have to put red a little bit darker because I need to make it if I want to create it. The yellows, I have to play this and so that we come up with the result that I'm feeling like I'm happy with. Let's put it like enter, like enter has to be off. Looking weird, so I need to bring Greg and my hands a little bit to show that she's wearing something on her head. Yeah. So far, I think it's now too bad for a moment and. Go for the color balance. Let me change for the mid tones. I need to make them not very red. For the shadows, for the shadows, I'm good. So, 
think this is it right and uh, i think the next thing to do is to find the face to see if i can do anything about it show up her face and let me see if i can change anything about the face see if i can make anything better maybe if i don't like it they just leave it as it is yeah, I can just put it into the bit Maybe the eyes will be up. Here we are. Yeah. So this is it, guys. Before, after, before, after, before, after. The next thing I'm gonna do is um, exporting this photo for the Insta Instagram quality, not Instagram quality, but suitable for the web quality, so that you can upload it and not the photo gets to be compressed a lot. And maybe not really put it on on the web or maybe on Instagram, so that it can be upscaled when it's having not a lot of pixels in it. So come here on file. Export, export for web. You have to check the preset and the shooting the JPEG. You are exporting the JPEG. And quality is like maybe two less and I put it 100. So, yeah, and here for the size I put one eighteen hundred. Or put and you have to check it there. It's in SRGB, the color profile. So, like this, I add any of this, yeah. So, I zoom it out and the portrait. Yeah. So, this is it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think of this image on my retouching techniques in the comment section. I'll see you next, guys on the next one.